A Rhode Island hospital nurse remains in critical condition tonight after being violently assaulted by a patient this morning. Police say the patient is now being held at the ACI. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joins us live in studio with what we know tonight. Kayla. Well, Mike and Shannon, a leader with the local American Nurses Association, tells us this nurse was not breathing and had to be resuscitated after being attacked by a psychiatric patient Friday morning. Providence police say a patient at Rhode Island Hospital is in custody after reportedly assaulting a male nurse. A spokesperson for Lifespan tells us the incident happened around 7.30 Friday morning in an inpatient unit. Authorities haven't released many details about what happened, but police called the assault violent and said there were no weapons used. The Lifespan spokesperson released a statement saying in part, quote, our thoughts are with our employee, the employee's family, and their co-workers at the hospital and throughout Lifespan. We are providing assistance and support to our employees who witnessed the traumatic event. Some I spoke to say the incident is a reminder of the risks facing health care workers, something local lawmakers have worked to address. A Rhode Island law that went into effect in 2022 requires every hospital to create a workplace safety committee to identify potential hazards for assaults committed against employees. And on the federal level, Senators Jack Reed and Sheldon Whitehouse have co-sponsored the Workplace Violence Prevention for Healthcare and Social Services Workers Act. It would require the Department of Labor to address possible dangers and force certain employers to take action to protect workers. Now, authorities haven't released the names of the nurse or patient involved here, citing patient confidentiality laws. Live in studio tonight, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.